Hey guys, Pork Shopper here, and today I'm going to be doing another opinion video looking at what I believe to be the best mid laner right now in the current meta. Do let me know in the comments below what your favourite mid lane hero is, or if you don't play one, what mid lane lane you find it hardest to face, and why. I even do have a how to mid lane guide if you wish to check it out, linked in the description below, or linked on screen at the end of the video. The mid lane is the most played role for me, so we're going to cover this by giving a small detail on each mid lane hero and where I think they are right now. First, poor old Iggy. When Monolith launched, he took a hard hit more than any other hero to most people's surprise. His main issue is that a mid laner needs some sort of CC and poking capability, and Iggy does neither. He can get bullied early on from any other caster. His wave play isn't as good as it once was on Legacy. His turrets now give a small amount of CXP, and finally, his ultimate damage or just general damage scaling isn't the best. There really isn't much else to say right now, but I'm going to be making another video hopefully soon detailing what I feel needs to be done to battle him soon. Gideon on the other hand is one of the most fun mid laners for me, his mobility is great and being able to pull off a fantastic ultimate is so rewarding. He has that poking capability, great mobility, a nice slow and probably one of the best ultimates in the game if used right. So maybe some people were surprised he does have a higher skill cap than some think, especially placing that perfect ult. Howitzer follows the same kit style as Gideon, he's definitely a higher skill cap hero to use, being able to control and combo well with himself. This revolves all around his ultimate, using his slow and landmine to keep enemies in it for that big final blast. His rocket does insane amounts of damage while he has multiple great escapes. Bellica or Belisha is another funny hero. She doesn't really have an early game poking capability, but her unique abilities can be used very effectively to counter other mana hungry heroes like casters. She also has a decent skill cap too. Placing your drone just right at the time can change the whole course of a team fight. Her ultimate does some of the best burst damage in the game, while having a very quick wave clear and even a stun of sorts. But she is a very tricky hero you need to fit into the right team composition so she can be used most effectively. Gadget is another hero that fits that standard mid lane style, having an AoE high damage ult, her Pokemon that does great damage while her speed gate speeds allies up, her seek and destroy slows enemies down. She is one hell of a hero to escape, and that's for sure, and can really control a team fight like no other while being at the back lines of the fight, dealing that high damage like a caster always should. And finally, the Fae, a supporter caster hybrid which can be played in the mid lane role. She has nice wave clear and her ultimate if you combo well with another ult, say Gideon's or Deckard's or Steel's, is fantastic to have. A Bramble Slow again is another ability that you have to get very much used to with its range, but a play strike can be more effective than a stun on the sea as you can hit more than one player over a long duration of time. Another hero that combos well with herself. Now the reason I haven't added Countless into this list is because I feel she isn't much of a caster and this really isn't her preferred role. Yes she can play there for sure and do well, but due to how squishy she is early game against a big poking caster, she will have a very bad time. And in the current meta honestly where CC is almost kin, you really need to have her hero in the mid lane that can do that high non amounts of damage and Countless just doesn't do that and can cause weakness in the team composition. So which is the best mid laner in my opinion? Like I stated a few times before, some mid laners need certain team compositions to work with or play against such as Belisha. If against a lot of mana hungry heroes, it could be a good bet for the later game. So it's always hard to pick one as you could say if X, Y or Z happened, this hero would be better. Bella I think is a very much worthy and challenging pick that I have a lot of fun with and can be counter to many other mid laners hard if done right, but I still don't feel she can be used all the time. Where she is useful she can be great but sometimes your team just needs those standard casters. The most used heroes in this rule are the three standards, Gadget, Gideon and Howie. They all have that similar kit style but being very different at the same time. I feel all three can be used in all games and don't have to worry about other team picks so they can combo so well with themselves and do high amounts of damage to carry their team to victory. Out of those three, Harry right now I think would be the one that stands out. You can really tell when you're against a good Harry player landing every shot and those damn rockets can hurt up to 600 damage if you build correctly. He has multiple escapes of pools which again a skilled player can really use to their advantage. From helping a teammate escape or baiting a poor enemy into your tower to finish them off, he can do it all. Yes his ultimate is twice as good if you combo it well with some other CC like Gideon's, Steel's, Deckers, you name it, but on its own it still does considerable amounts of zoning damage. He is one of the highest picked in competitive scene. Now that's not to say Gideon and Gadget are that far behind, they are easier to learn heroes and to master, and that your more casual solo queue games are just as effective. 
Casters can deal that damage while giving small support with their slows, knockups, moving boots, you name it. Gadjun, Giddy, and Faye do this the most. I haven't seen too many Faye mid laners for that matter, but funnily enough, I feel she combos really well with another caster on your team. Unless that caster goes in the off lane, Faye would be better in the support role or the off lane. She doesn't deal that high damage that other casters do, but she makes up for it by having those support focused abilities like a bramble slow. But I just don't think she can be effective enough in the mid lane in this current meta where you need someone that can build that higher damage to support the carry with doing the big damage on the team. I would rather have her in the support of even the low lane role just like I said. So that pretty much does it for my feelings about the mid lane role. A very tricky role that has a lot more to do on Menolith than it does in Legacy, but overall I think Harry is just a bit above Gadget and Gideon, or even Bellica for that matter, but you need a lot of practice to succeed with him, while other casters are more specific and can't be used as much, but still have their uses. But anyway guys, thank you very much for watching, let me know if you want me to do more of these kind of videos, seeing the best carries, the best supports, the best junglers, the best off laners, or best ranged heroes, the best melee heroes, let me know if you enjoy this kind of video and what ones you want me to do next, comment down below, and I'll see you next time.